Hello, boys and girls. My name is HotSST, and welcome back to another day in Minecraft without mining. In the last few episodes, we have jumped around here in our base uh, doing various uh, odd jobs. Uh, so, uh, a lot of singular points. Uh, of interest without making much of sense, I would imagine. And today we will add a few more points, uh, but I also want to try and connect them a bit to form a bit of a bigger picture. So behind me there we have the bulk storage and what I want to achieve is uh, a system where I have an indicator if uh, the storage of an item is high or is low. And if it is high, I want to pack them into shulker boxes and store them that way. If it is low, then I want to request new ones. And requesting new ones, that works for cobble, we have a form for that. For stone, we can smelt the cobble, uh, which we then can smelt again and get smooth stone. Uh, glass does not work that well, because we get that from uh, trading. Uh, we could hook up our iron farm uh, we for sure can hook up our dirt farm. Uh, I think I have not placed a uh, shulker box loader over there. Sand does not work, but the two wood types that would work. However, uh, for those we also don't have a shulker box loader. Um, so that's a bit of the bigger picture here, but we still need to come up with a few redstone pieces. So let's jump over into the redstone world. This here is the shulker loader that takes two inputs uh, that we designed a few episodes back uh, for our high output farms, but now we need a design that is one wide and uh, tileable, and then we can actually place that already at the various farms that are not that high output or need sorting for the output. And I think um, we go a bit uh, up here and uh, let's maybe start with a uh, with hopper. That is where the shulker box, the full shulker box will be collected. And the problem we will be facing is we cannot put anything in from the side. Um, so it has to come from the top or from either side. Um, so anyway, we will have to have a comparator here. So that will detect if the shulker box is full or not. Oh. Let's place that one here and that means basically we have to push the, the full shulker box here from behind. And here we have the, the dropper to, to fill the whole thing. Um, that basically leaves only uh, this space down here to place the shulker box. And uh, we need to have a line 
to fill this uh, this dispenser so we will do that here from the back um, then here output wise I think we can have a block there if I can reach um, that will actually help us uh, with the detection so the thing that we do here is basically uh, we subtract a powerful signal uh, to get uh, only a signal out uh, if uh, we have a full Schalke box and there is another trick that we can use uh, basically here I think we have to work with uh, observers uh, so that uh, any signals do not bleed over um, to uh, to the other side so if we have an observer there that observer of course would detect the redstone signal and it will detect each change of the redstone signal so any power change so if we do that then we have a power signal of 14 here at the minimum and if this Schalke box is full this block is powered and we get 15 so we only switch between power 14 and 15 and uh, then basically this locks uh, this this dropper here and this again we can detect with, uh, with this observer so basically that's how we get the signal from this side over to this side and then we have to have something to break the block and we also need to bring the uh, the, the signal down so we will place a sticky piston here or oh, let's place a block there and then let's try the placing of the sticky piston against that block because we power that block that block powers the sticky piston and in here we shall have a downwards facing observer uh, so the sticky piston um, pushes out the observer breaking the full Schalke box now however we do have an issue because we also need to power this dispenser here and that does not work with a hopper however what we can do is we can have a dropper instead um, place that there and that powers the dropper and that powers the dispenser however the drawback here is that uh, we need to uh, break a shulker box 
to get something new in here. So what we might want to do is have a button here because um, let's place some chests. So here that's where the uh, the full shulker box go and then here we can have uh, the the empty ones and to demonstrate this um, ooh, I do have some shulker boxes there that are almost full so let's place them in here and we can see this one is filled but in here we get nothing um, and would of course be helpful to have a dispenser here instead of a drop room because then that thing might actually work. Uh, let's put that one here. Try the button again and the shulker box is placed. So then we need a bit of uh, soul sand here to fill up the shulker box um, and then we should see how the system works um, it is broken and a new one is dispensed so basically we only need that bottom button down there um, for the placing of the first box and we only we will never have uh, boxes stored in here we will have them in here but with the powering we push that actually through here and uh, place it directly and there you have seen uh, this working that's the the full shulker box that's the one from before that did not work and with that i think this is not necessarily a, a design i came up with if you look around you will probably find something uh, that looks exactly like this or pretty similar but it's compact it works and i can go about and place that um, in my world however for the storage system we need to uh, do a bit more consideration because this is just one of the puzzle pieces that we need. This here is a mock-up of our bulk storage system where we have five layers of chest in front of hoppers. And we want to detect the fill level of these chests and we can do that by detecting the fill level of the hoppers behind them. So if the topmost hopper is full, then we have quite a few items and we probably want to fill up another shulker box um, to compact the stored items a bit more. However, if um, we are uh, not completely full here, then maybe we want to request a uh, new shulker box of items to store in here and we can detect signals by taking out um, 
that the signal, the fill level with a comparator. And uh, if we have uh, this set up here, actually I want to have a repeater. So if we have this here, one stack in there, we get um, a signal out, signal strength of three to be exact. However, the problem comes in uh, when we want to do the same thing on the other side. Because you can see here we have one stack, here we have more than one stack. So it's actually correct that this one turns on. However, if we remove the items from here, comparator goes out, but not the corresponding uh, repeater, because here, of course, the lines overlap. And let's think how we can we can deal with with this situation. So we cannot have them on the same level. Um, what we can do is. If we make it like this, we still get a signal out. And if we then have a comparator here, that would still uh, detect the fill level there, but then Let's use glass, actually. Then if we have the comparator here, ah, oh, glass does not work. We need a full block. If we have that then here, and now we get a signal out there. And if we want to uh, bring this up to the same level, we can do just that. And now if we fill this in completely, and remove this one that works if we fill up here completely and remove everything from here we get an output here but not there and that's how we can basically transfer the signal from neighboring cells back here. And here we can, because this comparator is then either on or off, we can have an observer detecting the change. So basically we would get two short pulses out of that uh, one if the line turns on and one if it is going down. And this is just another puzzle piece of uh, this whole process. And there are a few more uh, until we can get the whole thing together for our storage solution. But we will continue in the next one. Um, this is it for today. Hope you enjoyed it. If so, please consider leaving a like. Uh, don't forget to, to subscribe so you're notified when the next one is up. So until then, goodbye.